What's going on, y'all? Uh, I've got Loop Cloud 5.1 up here that I'm using with Studio One. And uh, today we're going to be looking at the Soul Wave sample pack. This was a recently released sample pack this month uh, from Loop Masters that's in Loop Cloud. And it's full of a bunch of uh, Neo Soul type sounds. And I've got six tracks here that I've put together. And I'm going to eventually pull these into Studio One and do some more uh, arranging and get my production together there. I'm going to show you what I got here with these uh, six tracks. I got one of them muted. We'll get to that one in a second. But just uh, pulling, going through the sample pack and pulling some sounds together, this is what I have right now. So the birds chirping that you're hearing, <clears throat> that's the watermark from a uh, loop cloud because I haven't purchased these yet. Uh, once I once I purchase them, it'll remove that watermark. So I'm gonna do a little bit of editing here, and uh, then I'll purchase them and we'll get them into Studio One. So let's see. First thing here that I want to do is this lead that I had muted. This is with an N. So I like that lead, but I don't like all of it. So I'm just going to grab the scissor tool here. I'm going to cut some of this out, let's change my grid. Here to maybe here. Let's hear how that sounds. I need to pull that out some. Okay, so they're done processing. I'm going to pull them into Studio One. Uh, one really cool feature about Loop Cloud 5.1 is that you can now drag all of your tracks in at the same time into your DAW. So I'm going to hold uh, Shift and Option here and grab the Processed. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to close the loop cloud player here and just mute it. And we now got those six tracks into Studio One. So this lead sound I have here, I've decided that I, I don't like it. This one here. So I like the concept of having a lead there, but I'm not you know, feeling that lead anymore. So what I'm going to do is uh, Loop Cloud 5.1 also includes Loop Cloud Drum. Uh, which is a, a drum machine and Loop Cloud Play. So with Loop Cloud Play, if you click this Get More, it's going to uh, relaunch Loop Cloud and come up with 
a lot of sample packs that's specifically for play. I've got one here called Loop Cloud a Play Lo-Fi Leads. Yeah, we'll step through these real quick and I'm just gonna go ahead and, and purchase all of these so I can uh, use them. We'll find one to use here uh, for this track. Okay, that rubber lead there, that's probably what we'll use. Okay, I'm gonna go here to uh, buy pack. So back in Studio One and have Loop Cloud play up, once you purchase a pack, you're going to want to go to this uh, refresh right here next to get more. Click that. It's going to refresh. And now you see I have uh, the Lo-Fi Leads pack selected here. So I'm going to go right to that uh, rubber lead that I heard that I liked. And I'm going to we'll give a second for it to load. Okay. And also in Loop Cloud Play, you've got your easy mode here. If you want more advanced, you can click edit and you've got a lot more options to tweak your sound and everything. So I'm going to come up with a melody for the lead that I like and get it placed in here. And I'll be right back. So I ended up using the softly lead and this is what it sounds like. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Loop Cloud Drum, and I'm going to put in, where's Drum, here we go. Go to Loop Cloud Drum here, and I'm going to uh, just add just a couple small things to the loop here, a little uh, hi-hats, open hat, and tambourine, and I'll be right back with that. Okay, so here's what I added uh, with the Loop Cloud Drum. Uh, there's a quick look at Loop Cloud Drum, Loop Cloud Play, which are both included in Loop Cloud 5.1. I uh, highly recommend checking out Loop Cloud. It's a cloud-based uh, sound library that's just full of sounds and sounds and sounds, and more is being added all the time. Uh, you can check them out at loopcloud.com. I'll have a link in the description if you want to use that. It'll take you right to uh, the Loop Cloud page and you know there's a lot of different plans that they have as well I recommend trying out the free one and kind of moving up from there uh, depending on your usage and how you like it uh, so uh, any questions comments let me know and I'll catch y'all next time